Balancing the benefits of biodiversity and progress entails dedication and the will to stand up to one's beliefs. Bukidnon, home to indigenous communities and an immersed richness of green pastures, now faces the threat of exploitation, causing a serious dent on its environment and cultural heritage. The country's leader in telecommunications alongside advocates and indigenous peoples joined forces in pursuing vast regrowth in the farming cradle of the South, acknowledging the fact that trees have far more value than providing wood. I'm Pinky Webb, and this is Business Matters, where doing good is good business. strikes on a vast hectare of golden fields, nurturing the grains for an abundant harvest. Endowed with rich natural resources, the highlands of Bukidnon prides itself as northern Mindanao's food basket. Supplying a wide range of agriculture produce within the entire region and augmenting supply in nearby provinces. It is also a home of strong indigenous community cultivating the land. Alam mo, buhay ang pinag-usapan dito eh. Buhay. Pag mailayo kami, ma-isolate kami dyan sa mga uh, halimbawa kalikasan, sa lupa, sa bundok, sa teritoryo, sa kultura namin, parang patay na kami. Wala na, wala nang buhay. They have great knowledge a great wisdom about how to do something up there. What can we provide? We can bring in production technology, harvest technology, process management, quality control, access to market. These things are very corporate, okay? But if you combine these corporate strengths with the strengths of the indigenous people and small farmers at that level, you can actually have a chain of production that produces what we call transformation business partnership. And we'll show you another picture of this mountain right here, Kitanglad Range, that uh, when I climbed that in 1980, there was a massive mossy forest with a 35 feet diameter on top of the mountain, 1980. I climbed that again when I turned 60 in 2009. And when I turned 60 in 2009, that tree was gone. So what happened in the intervening 29 years? What happened is that every three or four years, the coca grass burned burned out another row of trees and burned all the way up to the top of the mountain where that massive 35 foot diameter tree is gone along with all the other trees. So actually even if you stop illegal logging today, we are losing our forest because they're burning from the inside out. And that forest is our water, our rainfall, our food production. So question is what can we do about it? The gap is growing wider and wider. So we're a nation that's leading to a food crisis. A food crisis because, in fact, we have a water crisis. And as clear as the sun shines, help is underway for the indigenous peoples, paving the way to restoring a greener Bukidnon and a brighter tomorrow. So Hinilabon Foundation was founded in 2006. It's a very sacred name. In, in the, with the indigenous people. It means mother tree of the rainforest that sustains the cycle of all life. What we did is we started to go up to the mountains, the buffer zones, and we started uh, approaching the IPs, the indigenous people who live in the buffer zone, about planting trees. What we learned is that uh, before they can even think about planting trees, they need food to eat and they need sustainable livelihoods because their livelihood today when they're pushed back into the mountain is actually kayingan, cutting the trees and those trees actually when they cut eventually they abandon that area and they move on that becomes kogan and that kogan grass after three years burns and when it burns it burns out another row of trees 
yung pagpuputo ng mga kahoy, influence ng laging. Dahil yung lager gusto magkapera. Anong naipunla sa isip ng mga tao? Eh, nakita nila ba, pwede pala pagkaperahan ang isang puno, putulin, ibinta. O, oh, yun ang ginawa nila. Traditional ba yan? Sa kultura ba yun? Wala. All influence from the outside world. Targeted to strengthen the charter of the organization's reforestation efforts, the Philippines leader in telecom services extended a hand blessed with an exceptional aptitude for making things grow. Help That Grows is a program of uh, Globe Telecom in partnership with Hinaluban Foundation to ensure that one is that we replen help replenish the remaining 1.5% primary rainforest in the country. At the same time, help sustain the livelihood opportunities of the local community in Bukidnon. So each one of our citizens can do something. The problem is, how can you reach out and put your piece, your contribution, where you can produce this? So I'm really happy that we have a partnership with GLOBE because GLOBE has 64 million subscribers. 64 million, that's about more than half our population, can, can reach out and say, this is what you can do. This is what you can do for food production, for water restoration. We're here in our model farm. This is the miracle tree called Kaliandra. It looks like Ipil Ipil. It's like a cousin of Ipil Ipil. But Ipil Ipil's uh, leaves actually point upwards like this, while Kaliandra's leaves actually form a canopy and blocks the sunlight from hitting the ground. And kogon grass survives with sunlight. So without the sunlight, the, actual, the kogon actually dies back. So Kaliandra, aside from conquering the kogon grass, it actually has leaf litter that falls down naturally. So it acts like its own fertilizer. So it actually improves the quality of the soil. Pursuing progress doesn't mean you have to put other people or your values aside. Moreover, giving back control to the right occupants and cultivators of the land also gives them back the power to preserve the culture, communal lifestyle, and tribal customs. Ang maganda ngayon is first ever uh, corporate, corporate institution na pimitingin ba sa ano gusto niyo? palakasin natin yung kinship, yung loss of kinship na ginagamit ng tribo. Kasi relasyon ang mahalaga sa atin eh. Palakasin natin ang relasyon sa pagitan ng kapateran. So, ina-adapt ngayon ng uh, Hinaloban Foundation yung, yung loss of kinship na magsimula dun sa mutual recognition and respect. Not from the outside in, but we've learned to work with them as partners, real partners, which means that we have to enter, this is our common problem, what can we do about it? So the partnership between Globe and Hinluban Foundation extends beyond reforestation. We are also helping ensure food security 